What is up? Sorry about that, guys. Apologies for that. This balancing thing is just getting harder and harder by the minute. Oh, you don't want to see that. Still futzing around with this stuff. Yo, Matthew Zhu, did you, uh, so did you win your match because of, uh, the bwe? What's up, Rainier? Moncia, Moncia, Naomi, I'm no Moncia. It, it's weird because um, some people on either live stream or YouTube comments, they always call me sir. I don't know if it's a cultural thing or an age thing, but I'm in no position ever, 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 ever to be called sir. I just don't, don't, I, it's weird. Like e even on the tennis court, if I'm coaching somebody, it's weird when someone calls me coach mark I, I think coach is okay but coach mark is a whole different thing but in all honesty I, I really would prefer it if people just call me mark like it's just it's never a thing for me to be like called coach mark it's it's very um i don't know what you call it it's very it sounds weird because yeah yeah oh congrats matthew Matthew Zhu, it's all about that boy. It's all about that boy. Church of boy. Good. Boy will get you places. There we go. Radical's good. Oh my god. Ming Deity, please, please don't. Matthew Zhu, please no. Naomi, please no. Rainier Tennis, please no. Let's let's not. Oh god. Well, you guys are the internet. I have no idea what I just unleashed. What's up, David Lou? How you doing, my man? How are you doing? Okay, I like this better. So I'll switch off between this one. The Brio, I'll disable. Much better. Okay, between one and three. That's fine. I haven't changed my home screen ever since uh, I got my this tower, so it's never really been uh, an issue for me. <laughs> Brock Sistos, you're asking how many more string reviews I have. Well, um, it's basically infinite, or at least more than I can cover in my lifetime, even if I were to do this full time. Because you, you have to understand, like Brock, I have like literally infinite content, right? Because my content. For my main source of content is tennis string reviews from like a non, from an independent perspective, right? So imagine all the polyesters out there, which is what I'm doing right now, right? Imagine all the polyesters out there, right? If I somehow get through all the polyesters, imagine all the synthetic guts and multifilaments I have to go through, right? And if for some reason I get through all the multifilaments slash synthetic guts, imagine all the hybrids I have to go through. And if I imagine, if I went through all the freaking hybrids, imagine all the combinations of multifilaments, um, polyesters, and also the tennis rackets, the tension and the gauge. Like, I would honestly say, like, if I really want to do the math, I can do it next time. But, like, it's probably, like, a million plus combinations. So, it's a million plus videos I have up there, technically speaking. Yeah, no rackets to string. I, I cranked them out. So, um, typically I have a lot more during the summer because everyone on my state league team plays like 
at least every other day during the summer when it's nice out in Milwaukee. So right now I don't have any, which is perfectly fine. I'd rather, you know, I'd, I'd rather just hang out with you guys and talk. Uh, JPG, uh, you're asking how difficult it was to learn string. I'll get to that in a second because I have a quick question. Uh, Ming Deity, uh, Hyper G Soft, I'm testing it right now, right? And then Mark Muller, you're asking why Selinkle Hyper G and other heavy spin strings hard on one's arms because it's stiffer and it's shaped. So typically speaking, when a string is stiffer and is shaped, like four-sided, six-sided, it has more spin potential just because of the way physics works with a tennis ball, tennis racket, and tennis strings. So there are some ones that are spin monsters out there that are fairly soft. Uh, for example, the, the vocal um, the vocal V square is a four sided polyester. It's soft. I didn't like it on flat shots, and it felt almost like a trampoline. But it's a soft four sided cold poly that deals tremendous amount of topspin. But yeah, typically speaking, you're going to see patterns of the stiffer the string is, the more shape a string has. Yeah, the more spin you get, but also the harder it is on your your uh, your primary arm, so to speak. Um, how difficult was it for me to string? So since, um, as most of you guys know, I grew up extremely poor. Um, I would say lo lower lower class in Midwestern America. And tennis was kind of a thing to kind of keep me out of trouble and keep me off the streets when my parents weren't home because they worked two jobs each because, you know, they're workaholics and I love them to death. And they've sacrificed everything to go from a third world country to the United States. And when I started breaking strings more and more because I started with more spin and more top spin and more power, I started breaking strings way too much. And they were like, you're going to string on your own. So I was kind of forced to it. So the very first racket I strung, and keep in mind, I was in eighth grade, right? The very first racket I strung, it took me five hours to string, and I did such a bad job on it. Horrible, horrible job. But, and I, I do remember because I started literally right after I got home from school. So I started around like uh, four o'clock. I didn't finish until five. I messed up so many times. And keep in mind, I'm in eighth grade. My mom came home at like eight o'clock, 8.30. And I started crying in her arms because I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. Why are you forcing me to do this? This is so hard. And to be honest, for, for an eighth grader to pick up something of that talent or that caliber, that skill, that type of specificity with technique, keep in mind, before YouTube was a thing, it was hard. Um, but obviously, you know, I'm glad my mom forced me to do it because I'm able to service my tennis community quite well and be a lot more knowledgeable on tennis strings. So, I mean, for an eighth grader, it was super hard, but I, I've taught high schoolers, I've taught college kids to, to string, and you know, they picked it up a lot faster than I did in eighth grade. So hopefully that answers your question. Oh, well, there's my analytics. Switch to this. Jose Ayachuga, sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your last name. When you go to change your strings, what are you supposed to look for? Um, so if you're changing your strings or if you're changing a racket or if you're changing anything when it comes to sports or even I would say life, you want to take what you have currently, for example, the strings that you are currently using, and you want to make like a pros and cons list of, hey, what do I like about my current strings and what do I not like about my current strings? And then just do YouTube and Google for your research. That's my opinion. You have to know what you're looking for before you make a well-informed decision. Andre Taggart, um, the reason I chose the Radical over the other head models, um, it was kind of on a whim. I like the paint job, and to be honest, the Radicals that I have right now, which I believe were last generation, released in 2018 or 2019, they were like $130 per racket. I'm like, oh, this is good. I play tested it. Uh, I demoed it from a, fr uh, a local tennis shop of mine, and I, I really liked it. It's not perfect. I have some customization I got to do on it, but I liked it enough to where I just bought four online from, I think, uh, Midwest Sports for like $130 each. Matthew Zhu, you're asking about hybrid setups instead of a full bed of poly. Um, so it's similar to you, right? Because according to your comment that for a full bed of synthetic gut for you break through it too fast, 
I would say the next step is to do hybrid. Um, so for hybrids, you have two options. You can have the polys on the mains and synthetic guts on the crosses or vice versa, where you have the synthetic guts on the crosses and polys on the mains. Take your pick. Obviously, you do you. But for me, if I were to go hybrid, I have the same issue as you for a full bed of synthetic gut where I would just break through it way too quickly. That's why I do full polys right now. Uh, Krish Mahajan, um, you're asking about is the Technifiber Ice Code, which I haven't played tested yet, but I've heard very, very good things, Krish. Um, your teen, your very young teenager, uh, 2019 Head of Radical Pro, same racket as what I'm currently using. It's Linkle Hyper-G, but you don't like how this Linkle Hyper-G drops in tension. Um, so I believe the Technifiber or any Technifiber string actually does have very good uh, t uh, tension maintenance compared to a rougher co-polyester like this Linkle Hyper-G. So I would say give that a try and then let me know how it is, Krish. Uh, Ethan Ito, you're asking about what's better, one or two-handed backhand. It depends on your game style. But trust me, if you want to be stylish and be flashy for the ladies... One-handed backhand. Yeah, Andre, I, I feel you. Uh, you. You beat me on the first string job, so good for you. I would highly suggest, David Liu, whether or not the round polys in the mains or crosses, or the polys in the main crosses, don't ever, ever, ever hybrid a shaped poly with a synthetic gut, just because, dude, you're going to cut through that synthetic gut like crazy. I mean, there's no point. Yeah, Naomi A, like, I'm, I'm starting to teach some of my um, older high school kids um, how, how to string tennis rackets because it's, it's uh, in my opinion, it actually is a life skill if you want to play tennis in college and if you want to play tennis for the rest of your life like me. So, like, I'm I'm very, very, very adamant about, hey, when are you going to learn how to string rackets? Because it's very important. It's going to save you a lot of money. It's going to make you a lot of money. So, um, obviously, they're, they're very smart, um, not because they have me as their coach, um, but I, I teach rel very, very smart students, um, both in classroom and um, on the tennis court. Very high tennis IQ, very high academic honors for uh, the kids I teach, and I'm proud of them. And you know, obviously, they're not going to become professional tennis players, so it's important for me to ha for them to have at least a good basis of a good education, so they can get a good full time job, similar to what I do, and then do tennis part time. Thanks, Ming Deity. Um, thought process. Um, Ming, so th that's a good one. And I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be uh, quite a bit of questions um, surrounding this, right? And th that's perfectly okay. I mean, that's probably why you guys are hanging out with me. So for me, um, when I was getting destroyed in the first set, 1-6, I'm like, you know what? And I think I said this out loud, but um, I, I was mic'd up. But I don't think you guys heard it from the live stream, but he'll do the editing so you could hear it, uh, what I'm saying under my breath. Um, in the edited version when it comes out, I have nothing to lose. I'm, I'm clearly the underdog in this, even though a lot of, a lot more people know me on YouTube <laughs> compared to, to Michael, who's obviously a fantastic tennis player and a good friend of mine. But the idea is that, you know, I've got nothing to lose. Why not? And I didn't want it to be like what I did in sectionals. If you guys haven't seen that already, like it was a train wreck. I was way too tentative. So I'm like, you know what? Screw it. If I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down swinging. This captain is going down the ship kind of mentality. This guy is going to have to blow me off the court and cramp up and do some crazy stupid stuff in order to beat me. And to be honest, he kind of did. I mean, I almost took the set from him when I was up 3-1 and I got broken. Ah, so bad. But I was proud. I was very happy of what I accomplished in the second set of like, first of all, breaking him. He's a monster first and monster kick for a second serve. But the idea that like, okay, I'm going to swing out. And if I make an error, no big deal. So I was very happy with that. And that was the kind of the key pivotal moment. And, you know, obviously the bue was kind of a, it is kind of a meme because in the changeover, I don't know if you guys saw on the live stream, but on the changeover, I was checking my phone and I was actually, <laughs> I, was, I was checking the discord. I'm like, okay, let me get some on-court coaching, <laughs> which I, I don't know if I should have done, but obviously it didn't matter at the end because I lost. But everybody in my discord was like, <laughs> all right, Mark, keep going, keep going. I'm like, so you know what? What does this Discord need right now? The power of... Bwe. That's what I did. What's up, Portal Nero? <laughs> All about that bwe. Um, The update on the national tournament for uh, USTA. Nothing yet. I'm going to call um, 
my Midwest representative. I believe his name is Kevin. I will call him tomorrow during lunchtime. Um, but there is a tournament I want to show you. Actually, actually, there's actually two tournaments I want to show you guys um, relatively soon. I, I just got to pick up this. Uh, I'm going to not show my screen because I, I got to see. I got to sift through this personal email and uh, get the link for this. Because you guys actually, I, I kid you not, you guys have the opportunity to actually play in this. You actually don't even have the opportunity. If you want to sign up for it, this tennis tournament, both of these, you're, we're going to hang out. And we're going to have a few drinks if you guys are of age. Because um, I'll, I'll make this public in a bit. I, I just got to sift through this email. Yeah, Ming Dady, um, there I have quite a bit of live stream commentating. Actually, I don't know if it's live stream. I do have quite a bit of commentating for essential tennis in the very near future so don't don't you worry yes by the way i do have um brand new lights that i bought um let's see i bought that and then i bought that light and I've had the ring light for a while, I just haven't used it. But I bought those two lights because they give me better control for the brightness. And also, um, I think it's, it's Kelvin, like the warmness of the, the light that they give off. So my YouTube videos will be much, much better, higher, uh, much better production quality um, than in the past because I can I have more control of the light. As you can see, actually, this one might be a little bit too bright. Let me turn this down. As you can see, like, um, the brightness, actually, this still might be a little bit too bright. The brightness is a little bit better. Hey, Google, turn off my office lights. Okay. Okay, this is much better. So, um, the brightness is a little bit, it, it's a lot more controlled to where you could definitely see me as the subject in contrast to the background, which is my wall and my painting and the essential tennis sign down here. It's a lot better quality for both streaming and also creating YouTube content. And lighting is super, super important. If you guys are ever, ever, ever thinking about being a YouTube content creator or a streamer, you have to understand the most important thing is one, audio, which is why I bought this expensive mic. But the second most important thing is not the camera lens, it's not even the camera, it's actually lighting. Doug Smith, have I ever played Mario Tennis on Switch? I have not, but I have played Mario Tennis on GameCube and N64, but not on Switch. Um, Chris, so I have a Mercedes C300 um, 2017 Coupe right now. And funny enough, you say that I'm actually thinking about buying, actually am going to buy a Tesla um, I'm thinking between the Tesla Model 3 Performance or the Tesla Model S base model. So I'm actually going to, while I'm streaming, I'm going to schedule a test drive with Tesla. Hopefully um, Saturday in two days um, to see how, how I like it. Yeah, Brock, Sistos, um, based on my reviews, I completely agree with you. The Yonex Polytour Fire and the Onyx Polytour Pro are fantastic. Fantastic tennis rings. It's just a little bit too expensive in my opinion. At least for me. Okay. Alright, so do you guys want to hear about the Mixed Doubles Tournament, which is in the second week of July of this year, or do you want to hear about the UTR tournament, which is the last weekend of March? Your guys' call. Yeah, David Liu, apparently um, AC Tennis is like 
the best tennis racket reviewer. I haven't seen any of his videos, unfortunately. I, I got to do it. But he, apparently, he's like a really, really good racket reviewer. So, like, I'm excited to see what I could adapt from his, like, content and his style to help with, with my content creation. But, yeah, I mean, AC Tennis is fantastic from everybody that has ever mentioned um, that channel. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, my God, Saria. You didn't have to, dude. Sup, Saria? Saria, are you signed up for any of your, um, any, like, USTA leagues, assuming it happens in Ohio? I know, you know, this whole pandemic thing is kind of a, is kind of a bummer, but, um, you know, obviously based on the tournament that you've been gracious enough to, you know, help me at, um, you know, you definitely want to do stuff like that. And, you know, I, I was there to, you know, hopefully, you know, light some fire under you, which I hope I did, but, you know, play some tournaments, like play some leagues, whether it's USTA or something. All right, when things open up, I want to see you kick some butt on a recorded match. Mix? You guys want to hear about the mix stuff first? Bruh, Saria. Bruh, Portal Nero. Yeah, Mike. Mike's backhand is super solid, Omar. Absolutely. Oh, good, Kason. Kalis Hosini. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, Kason, uh, Kalis Hosini. Yeah, I want to play Ian in a full match, a revenge match. That might be the second most watched tennis match on his channel thus far. When that happens, or should I say, no, it's not gonna if what. It's going to happen. We just haven't figured a time out yet. Um, JPG, the isometric stuff isn't that noticeable. So you're asking about what is something I found in the Radical that I don't find in the Yonix. I'm assuming um, pros. Um, first of all, I'm not having any arm problems with the Radical. That's a huge plus. Um, man, this light is still bright. Yeah, it's mainly not the arm problems. Um, the Yonix, I say, is it's it's a, it's a little bit more stable and has better plow through and natural power. This light's bothering me now. Yeah, maybe it is better being off, or maybe it's the brightness of my screen. The brightness of my screen will roll with it. <laughs> Thanks, Krish. Yeah, it is a screen. Because if I take the white paging away, my face looks actually almost too dark. But if I bring it back, it's a screen. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll roll with this. The Traffic Cone Radical Ming Deity, is that the newest version? Is that the traffic cone radical? <laughs> it's too bright. I love the paint job of mine. It's fantastic. All 
Uh, Omar Corey, yeah, but the, the issue is, so, like, I think, I honestly think my arm problems could have been solved with the Onyx if I use a hybrid. Uh, like, so a poly on the mains and then um, a synthetic guard on the crosses or something similar to that. But um, that, that would have actually cost me even more money in the long run because I would have broken it way, the strings way too soon if I were to go a hybrid. So I, I was looking for a full bed of poly uh, for a racket. So, yeah. Oh, man. There we go. Much better. No! You guys will deal with this. Fine. The orange sherbet? The strings behind me? What are you talking about? That is a ghost in polylon. That is a Selenko Confidential. And then that is the Wilson Sensation. Portal Nero, how, how sexy is, a, is the Black Speed MP? I've not played with any of the head speeds in about a decade, so I can't comment on that. Krish, um, no, if you're a strong 13-year-old player with a good technique, it's not a stupid idea. Oh, David Liu, I, I completely agree. I completely agree. Yeah, send it on the Discord. So, the UTR tennis tournament I'm playing at is in Racine, Wisconsin. And it is a UTR event March... Uh, March... Shoot. March 26th. So it's a one-day event, so... You know, that's why it's relatively cheap. 35 bucks. Um, but I'm, I'm still going to do it to try and boost my UTR and also do kind of like a vlog style um, type of uh, type of format like I did with um, uh, sectionals. Uh, Matthew Zhu, if you want to get more kick serves, even though you're a uh, shorter stature, kind of like myself, um, learn how to hit a kick serve literally by being on your knees first to really get that technique of going up and away on the ball with your racket. Uh, Ming Deity, uh, yes, cheese curds are an absolute thing in Wisconsin. Just like in Wisconsin, fish fries on Friday are a thing. It mainly came from Germany. And also beer is a thing. Cheers. Yes, Abby, Bablot overgrips are really bad. Can I tell you one secret about the Bablot overgrips? Don't buy the Bablot overgrip. And that's all I got to say. That's my TED Talk. Matthew, Yu, I'm about 5'8". It says UTR 4 to 8, but I'm still going to sign up. I'm like a 9 point something. So what's the worst that could happen? They just don't allow me? Okay, good luck. Ooh. There's three people signed up. There's me, Powell from Chicago, and then my buddy Robert, who was uh, also in sectionals um, with me a few weeks ago. No, Racine is um, literally about 25 minutes away from me. So if you guys are in the Chicagoland, Milwaukee, maybe even Minnesota area, um, I'll, I'll, I'll take a link to this. Yeah, the Super Grab is pretty fantastic, I heard too. ISO speed baseline control is good. Yeah, it's good for slices and drop shots. It's it's pretty fantastic for especially for given how cheap it is. Um, so the tension I would say is go towards the lower end of the tension recommended range for whatever racket you're using there, uh, Siddharth. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Michael L. Man. Yeah. Um. So obviously, like you know, for some reason you guys like my personality. Um. Apparently, I apparently I have a pretty good. YouTube and streaming personality. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say I was gifted with it, but like, you know, I have it where some people don't, and you know, that's perfectly okay. But um, w w the reason why I'm able to.
muted not muted apparently i need a new pc too sorry about that so naomi a thank you um so the reason why i'm able to be crucial and brutally honest with a slight filter of professionalism right because I, I i just can't say whatever's going through my head because i'd be in jail if, if that were to happen but the reason why i'm able to be such no no like it, it was a legit thing like this this cable this cable sucks so i, I i'm a natural apparently i'm a natural personality on uh, YouTube and streaming and stuff like that, which is something I, I did kind of eventually pick up, but it, apparently it's natural as well. But I, I believe I had to work for it to an extent. So the idea is that Ian, oh my God. You know what? I'm going to Uber Eats Taco Bell now because Ian Westerman stopped by. Everybody say hi to Ian. He is the leading YouTube content creator when it comes to innovation, pushing the envelope, and just overall quality, in my opinion. So if you guys haven't subscribed to Ian already, and I think you already did because I don't think there's anybody in the world that's like subbed to me that isn't subscribed to Essential Tennis. <laughs> yeah, Siddharth, uh, the, the ISO speed baseline control um, is good for a 16 year old. It, it's good for drop shots and slices. And for the tension, um, just go towards the lower end of the range of whatever your uh, whatever racket you're using. Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your. Uh, hold on, hold on. Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. And I think normally he's wearing like a long sleeve, which I don't have. Oh man, my hat. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, and Ian was one of the ones um, that said to me that, you know, a good tip for being natural and talking into a camera. One, one of the tips is, like, obviously I'm talking into a camera right now, but I have to imagine that there are 72 people out there, you know, however many that are going to replay this. We'll say there's 72 of you that are, like, in this, like, little window in this thing. And it's a little bit more natural because like as human beings, when you like, when you see a face or you, when you see an eyeball or, you know, you can connect, you have facial recognition towards like, oh, okay, this is an actual entity, an actual living thing I'm talking to. Um, so I have to kind of like force myself to pretend that it's not just a camera lens I'm talking into right now, but it's actually like 74 now, 74 faces that I'm talking to. So Ian gave me that fantastic tip. So thank you very much, Ian Westerman, for that little tip. Um, but b back to the, one of the original questions is that it's one of those things where because I don't have any sponsors that are racket string manufacturers or tennis racket manufacturers, I can be as brutally honest as you want. Where someone would like tennis spin, because he owns a racket shop, I'm pretty sure that there are some things that if he says incorrectly or too brutally or too honestly that he's going to his tennis shop is going to lose some contracts with deals from major manufacturing brands right for me i don't care do you see a racket shop here i string tennis rackets i buy everything on retail everything i buy is on retail like i don't have any special deals with wilson or babylon or you know these other major companies that's why like i, I could be as brutal as i want KOD. I haven't seen Coach uh, Coach Goo hit. Um, apparently, he's he's a pretty damn good hitter. So, you know, if things work out, you know, if he's around the area, or if I'm in Cali, yeah, sure, why not? Top 100 strings, RPM blast, uh, Monditimum, like. 
in all honesty, if price is one of the factors, RPM Blast would be like number 90 out of 100. What's up, Lucas Mira? Uh, Wilson Clash is a damn good racket. Um, very flexible, very arm friendly. So good for Wilson for innovating on that. But it's one of those things where I, I actually haven't play tested it, so I really can't comment on it. Wait, Chris is Chris is Chris Goo's only a four zero. Everybody was talking to him. Everybody's talking about him like he can slap. Um, let me see what this is. I thought he was like a four five at least. I don't think I see him like actually playing tennis. It's just a kind of like an interview style. He's a pretty solid player. What do you think, Ian? I think he's that's like four or five strokes, right? At least in the Midwest Wisconsin. Good footwork. Obviously, you know, this is just all strokes. I don't know what he's like, like playing in a match situation where there's actually pressure. Right? But he's pretty athletic. I mean, he seems like he's in pretty good shape. Yonix V Core, is that the 98? A little bit of lead tape. Yeah. Seems like a nice young man, pretty good tennis player. Yeah, you got to do a video on how to customize tennis rackets. But he he looks to be like... That was a little bit slow, not going to lie. It's a good slice. He seems to be like... That looks like a 4-5 aggressive type of shot. Either that or is he anticipating just very, very well. See, so he loads up with a right leg, full body unit turn, right leg, about 75% of the body weight. Went into it. That was, that was a good... Good form. He he looks like a four or five in my opinion, at least in Wisconsin standards. Uh, but then again, you know, again, I, I didn't see him play an actual match, so yeah. No, <laughs> he he wanted the pro level. Oh man. <laughs> Good thing I didn't smack talk him in front of 76 people. Yeah, uh, Brock Cisos, I'm doing racket reviews. Don't worry. I just got to find time. So, Iori... Is it Iori... What's his name? Iori Yoshida? Uh-oh, okay. I'm assuming this is in Japanese. Pro Tour, huh? <laughs> wow, thanks, Kason. Makes me feel really good inside. So you're asking if these guys could go pro? I mean, it depends how old they are. Like, I don't know how old they are. Oh, okay. So, Ian, so you're saying a month or two. And in the meanwhile, you're going to be throwing all this YouTube chat money at me just to feed me Taco Bell so my movement's not going to be nearly as good. Is that is that the plan? Uh, Jess, my favorite multi-filament is probably the Wilson Sensation or the Prince Synthetic Gut with Duraflex. Um, how old are these guys? I, I can't read this language. These guys, not going to lie, they have, and this is not under with any malice. Both of these guys have a lot to work on 
if they even want to make it to the challenger tour in my opinion so they're both grindy which is good but yeah they, they've got a lot to work on i mean they're obviously five five level players definitely high level five oh but again i'm asking their age because age is a factor because you know that's you know limited that's that is a pro level shot i will say that forehand by the gentleman in the far court that is a pro level shot right here that's a good one boom take him off the court he needs to come in though he needs to come in but that second serve i'm assuming that's the second serve that second serve will get eaten up at the challenger tour absolutely destroyed that needs to get that needs to have a little bit more pace and acceleration behind it Saria, uh, yeah, I'll end up breaking the court surface just because I'm dummy thick. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Ooh. You guys see that service motion? Have I ever been to Michigan? Yes, I have. But, guys, take a look at this. That He's going to have shoulder problems in the near future if he doesn't have already. That is, there's nothing wrong with this take back. But that is a massive mechanical disadvantage. Fine, fine, fine. That's getting a little too extreme. That is how, how does he have a shoulder still? Yeah, that's, like, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with, like, an actual weird service motion. I have a weird service motion, right? It's not as fluid as Scott Brody's or Ian Westerman's. But there isn't, that's, like, whoever this is, and if you know this individual, like, I really hope that this individual knows that serving, that's, like, an actual issue for your body. Specifically your, not elbow, I think that's going to be the shoulder or rotator cup. But yeah, that's uh Yeah, that's he needs to fix that. If he wants to play high, even high level tennis before he needed some type of surgery. That's a good that's a good Yep, this is that is a pro level type of point. That's very good from him. That's very good point construction. That guy has a vi Again, even if this is his second serve that's just... Actually, that looks like a first serve. That's going to get eaten up. This is a high-quality video, by the way. Probably a GoPro. This is like, what, 4K? Oh, 1080p. 60 frames per second. Okay. Yep. So, it's enough of that. So, my buddies, who, I actually have a phone call with them at 9 o'clock in, in, in about an hour. Um, so, my buddies are actually the tournament directors and organizers of this McKinley Mix tournament. So, McKinley Mix is a non-sanctioned USTA tennis tournament. It is literally, and guys, you got to hear me, right? It is literally the biggest mixed only tennis tournament in the world not even joking like it's the biggest mixed doubles tournament only mixed doubles tournament in the world and it's in milwaukee wisconsin on the lakefront in downtown milwaukee so it's a beautiful scene beautiful backdrop what's up jay andy it's a plant step <laughs> yes area so i will link this in well down well down as well wow
Um, what guild am I in? I, I'm in a guild with a few, two, uh, Chris and uh, Brian, um, who obviously have been f uh, featured on my channel. Um, they played World of Warcraft with me as well. I'm on Kel'Thuzad, and I play as uh, a Night Elf Druid. They'll find a partner for you, um, but I would highly suggest you find a partner. So I have friends that I met at this tennis tournament, and they actually live in Indianapolis. And they come here every year, and we, we party together. It's a good time. Um, obviously, it was a lot more fun before this COVID thing because we would like literally go to the bars and start getting trashed. It was a good time. Show them what Wisconsin life is all about. But it's um, I, I linked it in uh, – I pinned it in the chat. So – for me, um, my, my normal partner, my normal mixed partner can't make it because she actually moved to Sandy, San Diego in California. So I'm actually going to be partnering with a student of mine and a family friend's daughter of mine. She got fifth in state as a freshman, and she's going to play D1 tennis. <laughs> so she's a freaking monster. So that's who I'm, I'll be uh, signing up with. I might be, I might be the four seed at the A bracket because they split it up into A bracket and B bracket based on your guys' UTR. So um, you guys will see me there along with Brian and Chris. And um, I, I have to talk to Ian about this. I'll see if Ian um, is able or interested in doing this. And then I also, uh, Scott Scott Brody, who is um, featured on Essential Tennis quite a bit, will be at this tournament with his wife, who is an amazing doubles player. She has a D1 background. I don't know what school she went to, but it was D1. She played number one singles there for, I think, three or four years. They're, they're monsters, so it'll be fun. Um, my UTR is, I think, a 9.22. Could be better. Could be worse. 9.22. Ian, I'll, I'll, if Ian's still in the chat, I, I'm going to talk to him about this because this is a pretty good opportunity. I don't want Scott to vlog it because he'll he'll be playing. Um, I'll probably vlog it because there is a lot of downtime, in all honesty, which, which is good because you get to socialize, you get to rest, you get to relax. It is a competitive setting, but it is a mixed double, so it's it's very mo much more social than a singles tournament. Um, so there's going to be a lot of downtime, so I'll be doing interviews on site um, with, with with my little setup. So it's um, it'll be a good time, and I'm really hoping that the weather – Weather has been fantastic the past few years for us, so hoping the weather keeps up. So, yeah. Oh. Oh, he's only a UTR 10? People say he might have gone pro. All right, so I do have a chance against him. Well, yeah, Ram X Edge. That's a good question. You're asking if the U.S. Uh, if the open level is the highest level. It it is. Um, you know, there's obviously. I don't think there's ever two. I I think I've seen three O is the lowest in the area, up to four five. There's no five O in Wisconsin anymore. I think there was in Chicago, but there's no there's no five O man. Bully Garfield. That twelve UTR is a monster. And especially if that 12 UTR is a female. If you're a 12 UTR female, you're you're a professional. Oh, not shop. So I'm torn between the Model 3 and the Model S. Order now. I'll just get long range. Hmm. Eighty thousand bucks. Uh, Scott Carney, um, do do both UTR and USCA in my opinion, and then start social networking and get people's numbers that are willing to play with you around your level or higher. That's what I would say. Bread. I don't. I don't like blue. That doesn't look like gray's okay. Black isn't bad, but red. Red looks. Red looks sexy. Yeah, giveaway with a Tesla. Yeah, right. Got to get that arachnid wheels. Black, white. I don't like cream. 
I actually like black. So what I like about this interior um, part of the Tesla Model S, I love this steering wheel. I love this steering wheel. I don't have more than 10 cars. I only have one car right now. But I'm obviously thinking about getting another. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Yeah, they can only give me a speeding ticket if they can only catch me, Ming Deity. I'm pretty sure my Model S can outrace any cop car out there. So this Model 3... So I would definitely go performance, right? Come on. The UI is messed up. I know. That, that's why I was like thinking Model 3 performance. I actually don't like red. Oh, actually, do I like the red in the Model 3? <laughs> Dubai police force. Good thing I'm not in Dubai, Stephen Tran. What's up, j -Keep? Dude, j -Keep, I'm so glad I could save you some money, dude. Dude, Black Knight. And I don't know if you guys saw um, on my Discord... Um, my Discord is on my, uh, go to my YouTube channel on the about page. There's going to be the Discord icon. That's the open invite. But, um, they, the owner, I think his name is, uh, Stefan, um, from tier one reached out to me saying, thank, thanking me. He's like, Hey, we should collaborate. So I'm like, yeah, I'd love to collaborate with you, but I can't take anything for you guys for free or at a discount because that would, uh, compromise my being unbiased. But, you know, he's a good guy and he definitely appreciated it. Um, I would use, um... Tesla says I'm too poor for performance. Because, <laughs> like, no, it, I just have to refresh the UI. <laughs> Trust me, I can definitely afford the performance at this point. I don't know. Sh I, you have the ISO speed? Oh, is, is that a different type of uh, <laughs> string I've never heard? Um, what I sell my Benz know, like, and this is kind of a weird statement. So, when I buy my Model 3 or Model S, which I haven't decided yet, I'm either going to give my Mercedes to my parents or I would use my Mercedes as a beater car. <laughs> That's such a flex. <laughs> Using a Mercedes as a beater car. <laughs> yes, this is the power of no wife and children and being a software developer. And also having side hustles like teaching tennis. I don't know. Red, red or white? White's not bad. Gray's actually not too bad. Blue, I'm not a fan of. I, To be honest, I, I, I have talked about this with my girlfriend, and I love her to death, and I, I absolutely love her with all my heart, but I'm actually fine never getting married, Ming Deity. Um, I'm actually perfectly okay with that. Um, obviously, I'm not getting into politics or, you know, that type of philosophy. But, like, you know, it's, it is what it is. I like having my own space. I love having this second bedroom as a studio to hang out with you guys and make cool stuff. But, um, yeah, I, I understand there is um, there there is an appeal for Dink. Uh, Ming Deity, Dink is dual income, no kids life. Um, Dink is very, very fashionable. But I, I'm fine not being married and being happily happily dating my girlfriend. Black gets too hot, bro. I mean, it's cool at night, but during the day, gray's not looking too bad. Huh. It is, it's not bad. And t t to be honest, white is good in Wisconsin because it doesn't show the salt stains nearly as much. Get a matte black skin for the car. Would gray be a good base for that? Hmm. 
Stick with gray for now. Oh, yeah, definitely white. Only 57. 58,000. That's not too bad. Uh, Chris, I went to University of Wisconsin Whitewater, which is a Division three school in southeastern Wisconsin. The question is, how do I test drive this bad boy? Signing in real quick. Yeah, Model 3 is really nice, but dude, that Model S is looking sexy. Oh my goodness. That's just a monster. Cybertruck! Hmm. Cybertruck isn't, yeah. Oh, you know what? This Model X I haven't taken a look at. So how much is this? Model X, is a Model Y more like a minivan? I. Oh, wow, okay. That's a little bit out of my price range. Yeah, Model Y looks just fine. Long range, still all wheel drive. Ooh, performance. Uber turbine. It's not bad. I don't know. I, I got to do reviews on it. I haven't done uh, in-depth uh, research on Model Y. Jose P, I have a 2017 Mercedes uh, C300 coupe. Yeah, Chris, go ahead. Oh, you know what? I got to make a video for you guys because I actually am looking for Discord moderators. And I would gladly, I, I wouldn't say pay is the right word, but like I, I would definitely give you guys some benefits if you want to be um, a Discord um, a Discord moderator. For my Discord, yeah, but Chris, there is a there is a channel in my Discord called uh, Tennis Video Reviews, and people post there all the time, and they're fairly nice. They're actually they're all nice, uh, and if they're not, I ban them immediately, or my moderator will soon ban them. So don't worry about any type of personal criticism. Yeah, I do want that plain steering wheel. That's why, like, that's like the biggest reason. I want to get the Model S because that interior, dude, I love that steering wheel. Well, to be honest, like, and my boss knows this and whether it's not in the chat, I'll, I'll say this. Um, he knows I'm going to quit my job soon to do YouTube full time. Like I enjoy this much more than programming. Don't get me wrong. Programming is cool. It is, it's gotten me pretty far in life, but I have this opportunity to make like a statement on the world because of this internet thing and all the skills that I have and all the skills that I'm willing to learn. Yeah, you're still allowed to post, Krish, even if you're 13. Correct. Oh, really? I can't pimp my ride? Skyry Scalibur, you're saying exhibit. Exhibit can't bust through my condo door and say, yo, bro, we're going to pimp your ride. I'm like, oh, snap, son. I got a Tesla. And he's going to be like, oh, dog, you can't do that. And he gets the hell out. He, he, are you saying that that can't happen because I have a Tesla? Ugh. I love this steering wheel, though. It's so just, it's, it's so extra. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wouldn't Uber. I'd, I, to be honest, I'd rather teach tennis than Uber. And part of the reason why I want to get a, a Tesla, either Model 3 or Model S, is that... Yes, JND, I, I think it is, um, based on the market research I've done. Um, 
So, yeah, showing my age because of... I really never watched... Was that MTV? Pimp My Ride? I wasn't like a huge MTV fan, but it's one of those things where like, if it's on, I'll watch it. Yeah. No, I'll stay in Milwaukee. In the Milwaukee area. Bully Garfield. I'm very, I'm very happy in Milwaukee. It's a pretty good life here. Backhand boomer. I'm not a boomer. I'm a millennial. Except I do drink beer talking to people. <laughs> no, man. Um, Cali is way too expensive. Bully Garfield. Wisconsin is quite nice for uh, what you pay for. Whammer Mark. I don't do Twitch. Um, I'd rather do YouTube live streams because I think Twitch is going downhill. Thanks, Jay. I just got a haircut literally um, an hour and a half ago. Uh, that's why I, that was part of the reason why I was late. Correct. So it's it's one of those things, Krish, where and that is a very very for a thirteen year old that's a very good question. So um, luckily for me, and if you're ever getting into programming, if you know one programming language, you know eighty percent of every other programming language out there, right? Because it's patterns. So. If I were to do YouTube full-time and I fail, and statistically speaking, I'm going to fail with this YouTube full-time, statistically speaking, but I have kind of proof that I'm an exception to that, given you know how much this channel's taken off and how much you guys actually enjoy hanging out with me. It's one of those things where if I do fail, which is a statistical probability based on numbers, because it's statistics, I can always be a programmer and make six figures and pick up where I left off. That's absolutely not a problem at all. Cost of living in Milwaukee area. Um, let's see what the poverty line is. Actually, I haven't done research on this. Poverty line, Wisconsin. So for a single, um, it's 12000 which is fairly low. And then poverty line, California. This might be a better one. Poverty guidelines. Uh, oh, this is federal though. Oh, Alaska. Okay. Okay, that's DC. So Wisconsin. Wisconsin's not on here. The hell bro I want the entire thing here demographics and state okay cost of living by state <laughs> all right Hopefully this is a more unbiased one. Okay, let's go by median monthly rate, right? So Alabama's pretty low. Okay, California. Holy cow. Two and a half grand. The Valley dollars at 87. Wisconsin. Dollar oh eight, thousand dollars for rent. On average. Uh, so the medium outcome. Wow, that's a drastic difference. <sighs> yeah, Cali's crazy, dude. Hawaii, too. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, Wisconsin's pretty good. Megamind, that, that is a good question. Um, Yeah, there's a lot of good outdoor courts in Milwaukee. Obviously, the weather is the most important factor, but there's a lot of good outdoor courts in Milwaukee. Um, so I could definitely take advantage of that. Um, that, that's a good question. Megamind, um, monetization. Were you the one that asked me on discord on the Q and a about like how I'm going to make money if I go use full time? Um, I haven't thought about that yet, but I don't need, I know this, this sounds weird, but I don't need to think about that quite yet because 
I have enough uh, belief in myself that as long as I make good content and as long as people are out there that are willing to listen and enjoy it and even criticize it, which is perfectly fine, the money will come. So I'm not I'm not worried about monetization quite yet. I hope that answers that question. Ming Dady, so how do they say Cali in Do they just call it California if you're a local? It wasn't me. Was that? I remember when this song came on. I was in middle school. I would start singing for you guys. I have a horrible, horrible voice. For this type of music. I remember the song. It's nuts. <laughs> they use the full name? That's just extra syllables, isn't it? Cali. Two syllables. California. Or if you really want to, California. Even though it's technically California. Five. I like Cali. Yeah. Well, part of, part of the... Jay, that, that's a good question too. Um, that, that's a good uh, point, not a question. Um, I would like... So I would... I would try to find a, a way to monetize YouTube, right? If I were to quit my full-time job. I would try to find a way to monetize YouTube. And, and I will, as long as I keep making good content. Okay, let's get away from the <laughs> Sky Ray Scalibur. Um, that's an interesting point, but let's let's steer away from that subject a little bit. Why don't we? Uh, <laughs> so, well, let's see. I would do YouTube. Let's let's say I quit tomorrow, which I'm not going to. But let's say I quit tomorrow. I would do YouTube at least 35 hours a week or YouTube related stuff. I would actually make this website, which I'm very close to making. Like it's, it's in here. I just have to do it. And I'm not telling anybody what the hell it is. So don't ask what it is. I would teach tennis a little bit more just for extra cash. And then I would try and find a programming job part-time again, just for some extra easy money. That's what I would do. Robert T. What's up, my man? Boy. How's a boy? What's up with Red Hot Chili Peppers and having like a musical like fetish with California? Like literally half their songs are about California. Red Hot Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's nuts. Oh yeah, Brock Sistos. I would definitely if I if I quit um if I did YouTube full time and I had um a stable passive income, like I've set my YouTube monetization to be stable enough, I would not only travel the US, I would actually travel the world because I haven't been to Europe Af or Africa yet. Yes, or South America. No, I've been to Mexico. I've been to Mexico. I haven't been to Europe or South Africa yet. I've been to parts of Asia, but not to the parts I want to. No, they always, um, so Ming Deity, so even if I were to be uh, a remote contractor for California companies, they would pay me Wisconsin salary, which is smart of them. Very smart. But I, I did I did think of that before. So thank you, though. Um, JND, uh, counseling, they, they say uh, contracting, at least on the, in the tech slash IT field, Contracting is the word, not counseling. Um, so I guess it depends per industry, but I understand what you mean. Oh, yep, you're right. You're right. I apologize. I haven't been to the South Americas. You are absolutely right. I apologize. And now you know my phone number. Damn it. I'm going to get some weird text messages. Damn it. I should not have done that. Okay.
Uh, Rafa Nadal. Um, I think I know you from somewhere. But who is this Federer guy you're talking about? Does he play tennis as well? <laughs> we gotta make it only fans. <laughs> Nuts. Um, the thirteenth. I gotta check my calendar. Unbelievable. Thanks, Ming Daddy. Love you too. Okay. Uh, two p.m. on Saturday would be ideal. Ah! Oh, I don't want to do this. I'm not gonna do this in front of you guys. It's okay. I will most definitely make a timestamp of when to delete this, <laughs> when to block this out. So that was a uh, hour and about hour ten. That look at like a uh, good to do list. <laughs> Thanks, Michael Martin. Wow. <laughs> Is that better, Naomi? Eh? <laughs> My girlfriend actually prefers to not be in the public eye. So OnlyFans like is it just me? Like is my OnlyFans literally going to be just me doing squats and calf I actually have never done a calf raise ever. It's just natural. Um so it's just it's just me doing squats. Like that's my OnlyFans. <laughs> just it's a very niche uh very very niche content on OnlyFans. <laughs> just like <laughs> just, Oh, it's just this guy he just Someone texted me. My God. <laughs> Damn it. 
I got to change phone numbers. I got to change my legal last name. I got to change social security numbers. And I've got to dye my hair a different color other than blonde now. <laughs> uh, if I were to make an OnlyFans, though, it's just it's going to be a very niche content because it's just like, hey, this guy that's like 31, he looks like he's 25. All he does is eat tacos, drink beer, vodka, and does back squats all day. It's very weird, but very niche. And he has a lot of followers. Please don't text me. <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. Hello? Oh! I've made a huge mistake, man. Who, which one of you is this? <laughs> Jay, what's up, man? <laughs> no, I know, right? And I, I'm ta I'm talking to Jay on my phone, but please do not call me <laughs> like on the stream. Do not call me. <laughs> what? No, because I'm I'm answering through my phone, not my actual um see now everybody's texting me, so I gotta end this stream right now because <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously there's a little bit of a delay. So Yeah. Alright. Well, you have a good night, man. Happy hitting. Do not call me. <laughs> it's the only one. Seriously, do not call me. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> Happy hitting.